Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Pam and today's video is going to be my June Jenga TBR. So last month in May, I uh, had six books on my Jenga TBR that I had to read and I read five. Hmm, I know. So that means punishment this month. Am I happy? I don't know. We'll see what the punishment is going to be, but yeah, I'm just... Yeah. Let's see all the books I had to read in. The one I didn't get to. So these were the six books I had to read for May and um, basically Crown of Night was a fantasy from an author that I love. Um, Homebody was a other genre, a five-star prediction. Imagine Me was a sci-fi newest purchase. Um, Sightwitch was a other genre um no my choice of genre but with a blue book there's a little bit of blue on it um then also again my choice of genre with a scare to read was for thunderhead and finally the one i get i didn't get to well i am in the middle of it is a fantasy uh ends on an even number and that is the well of ascension i'm not too disappointed that i didn't get to finish the well of ascension just because i am in the middle of it and i'm really enjoying it we are um, may 31st right now so i would not be able to finish it but um i'm just gonna continue reading it probably in june just because i'm really really enjoying it i'm on page 265 of 700 <laughs> and uh, 63 so I have like 500 pages left of this book but yeah like I said I'm really enjoying it so it's fine the only thing that I'm not quite happy with is that I have to pick a punishment so let's pick this punishment so I have my Slytherin cauldron mug here with some punishment i have like five left i'm scared of what the punishment might be let's pick one god i'm scared picked one okay let's see it's a long one let me show it to you oh no Basically, it's a book I'm really excited to read, but I can't. So basically what I'm going to do is whatever a prompt gets me really excited, um, because I have a specific book in mind that I'm really excited to read, I would not be able to read it. I'm going to have to pick a book that I'm not excited to read. Let's start with the first one for the June Jenga TBR. So the first one I got blue, which is my choice of genre, and the prompt is representation. Um, and for that one, I decided to go with Arusha and the Three of Wishes by Roshni Chakshi. Um, this is the third book in the Pandava. It's not a quartet anymore. <laughs> yeah, I, I always want to say quartet, but it's the Pandava series uh, by Roshni Chakshi. This is a Rick Riden's present at Disney Aquarian. And basically this is based on Hindu mythology. I really, really enjoyed the first two books in the series. Um, I'm pretty excited to read the third one. It's not the one I'm gonna use for my punishment because yes, I need to read that one for a specific reason. So yes. <laughs> so this is the first one. I really love the cover. The color scheme is just like so pretty it's crazy uh, but yeah I'm really really excited for that one I'm really excited to see where this story is going and um, just to go back into that world I'm really really excited about that so this is the first one The 
next one I got is Pink, which is a contemporary, and the prompt is audiobook. And for that one, I want I wanted to go with Concrete Rose by Angie Thomas. Um, I'm so excited to read that one. The Hate You Gave is one of my favorite books of all time. I read it this year on the come up and I really, really enjoyed it. Um, so I'm really excited for the new installment in the um, the Hate You Give series or whatever. They're like part of the same universe and the same um, neighborhood. And in this one, we're following Star's dad. Uh, Star was the main character in The Hate You Give. And I'm just like really excited. I heard amazing things about it so yeah but it, it is the one I'm gonna use for my uh, punishment but I'm still gonna read it this this month because I'm just so 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 excited but yeah now I need to pick a contemporary audiobook that I'm not really excited about <laughs> let's see my options but like I said I'm still gonna read that because I'm so excited <sighs> I don't want Oh no, it's real. Oh no, I can't read it. Oh no, I'm really sad. <laughs> I really want to read it in June. I just realized, like, I can't read it. It's not possible for me this month to read it. I really want to read it. Do I wait for her to pick? I could wait, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. No, 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 I'm gonna wait. I really want to read this this month. I'm gonna read it. I'm gonna wait for my punishment. I'm gonna wait. I got purple which is fantasy and the prompt is female protagonist this is perfect um, I'm really excited for that one and it's not the one I'm gonna pick for my um, punishment just because that is Her Fire by Sarah J Maas so I read a Throne of Glass last year I enjoyed it it was a four to five star I enjoyed myself reading it then I read the Assassin's Blade I think I gave it a 4.5 I think I give it a four stars too. I quite enjoyed it. And then I read Quarter Midnight and I think I gave it a five out of five star. God, I can't remember. Um, if it's not, I'm gonna put the right rating over here. But yeah, um, I'm re I really enjoyed it. I'm just really, really excited to see what's gonna happen with those characters and this world. So I'm gonna read Hair Fire. It's a pretty big book. They're getting bigger and bigger. But I heard this one is like a pivot book. Things happen, things are revealed. Well, things were revealed at the end of Crown of Midnight, but I think things will those reveals will get important into that one. So I'm really excited for that one. So I'm gonna read it. And it's not, like I said, gonna be my punishment because I need to read it. Next, I got yellow, and the prompt for that one is lowest rated. So I went on my Goodreads TBR shelf and basically I arranged my books by rating and the lowest, one of the lowest one uh, for a trailer was the last one by Sheena Tamal. And this one is the June pick for the <laughs> literally that book club hosted by books and Lala and yeah no I can't shut up about there but yeah <laughs> and I'm really really excited because this one is set in Canada um, especially in BC I do not live in BC I live across the country in Quebec but anyway it's set in Canada which I'm really really excited about and this is part of a series I think we're following a detective Ooh, okay so we're following Nora Watts. She's a woman and uh, 15 years ago she gave her daughter for adoption and um, 15 years later was well, to get a phone call by police officers telling her that biological daughter is missing and their adoptive parents are uh, reaching out to her so she can help them. I think. 
really excited. I oh, I'm excited. This looks like a true crime story, like who done it, what happened to the child. Yeah. Oh, I'm really excited. I don't know why this book has so such a low rating like i don't understand maybe it's because not a lot of people have read it but we'll see how my thoughts are on this one The next prompt is blue, which is my choice of genera, and the prompt is a reread. Oops, <laughs> a reread. <laughs> um, oh well, this is not gonna be my punishment because I really love all the books I'm gonna reread. For that one, I decided to go with a Prodigy by Marie Lou. So I read Legend in April. I really, really enjoyed my reread of Legend. So I'm gonna continue on with this series. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really excited. Um, I think, and I can't remember anything in this one. I think we're gonna expand the world, but I'm not sure. I really can't remember. And that's really why I really wanted to reread this series just because I bought Rebel, which is the new installment in the Legend series and it's the fourth book. It just came out last year, I think. And like it's a continuation, so I really, I really needed to fresh my mind on details and just the story itself because um the first time I read the Legend trilogy which was in 2014 2015 it was such a long time ago yeah i can't remember anything so really excited for that reread and obviously it's not gonna be my punishment like i said because all the books i do reread are like favorites of mine so yeah Next, I got green, which is sci-fi, and the prompt is low expectation. How can I make a low expectation a punishment? Do I pick like an even lower expectation? That would be like kind of a kind of an option, I think. Let's see my options if I do go for like a DNF. I think that would be like the smarter choice just because a dnf is basically a book that i <laughs> really enjoyed but i need to to like to finish so <sighs> this punishment don't make any sense why did i put myself through this i'm gonna bend the rules anyway it's my game i can do whatever i want so i'm not gonna pick one of these books that i'm like really really excited to read um i'm just like gonna punish myself to finish a dnf which is something and it has to be a sci-fi which i have a, some of them i have like four options i think so let's see i'm gonna show you my option so i have my four options so the first one is one that i dnf like years ago and that is loosed upon the world um which is a anthology of climate fiction and we have authors like margaret atwood shana mcguire and others that i just i don't know about so yeah so this book is a pretty big um like i'm there <laughs> with the book i'm not far into it but um uh, it's it, it's really hard for me to get through this um, I don't think this is gonna be the choice just because it's a really hefty book and I don't think that would be really wise of me <laughs> to pick this one for this month. So I think I'm gonna pass for this one. Next I have Authority by Jeff Vendemir. This is a more maybe choice um, just because I'm so I'm like 90 pages into it and this is the sequel to Annihilation and this still intrigues me for some reason so 
this is a maybe. Then we have The Wanderers by Meg Ari, and I don't think this is it. <laughs> um, in this one, well, I tried to start that one multiple times, and I can't get through it. So I think, no, I don't think this is the right choice. So the last one is Watchmen by um, Ellen Moore and Dave Gibbons. This is the other maybe choice. Um, because I'm almost halfway through, this is a graphic novel. It's a pretty heavy, um, hefty graphic novel. And yeah, I'm on chapter six and there's 12 chapters. So this is maybe. So it's between those two and I think the one that is the wisest choice i would say is this one so i'm um, i think i'm gonna go with the graphic novel i'm not that excited to read it just because i remember just reading it and be like kind of bored and um make me want to sleep <laughs> so yes. but this is the one i'm gonna pick so i'm gonna try to finish watchmen i have to finish watchmen because I don't want a punishment next month. So this is all the books I'm gonna read for the Dune Jenga TBR. I don't have any books I really want to read this month except for those and you know the Well of Ascension and like maybe others if I'm like I do finish these ones pretty early so we'll see how this month go but yeah Dune is gonna be like a pretty pretty really busy month for me because it's the last month in the school year here in Quebec so yeah it's gonna be crazy <laughs> um I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one bye